What up YouTube? In today's video we're going to be talking about the Amazon Associates program or the Amazon Affiliate program as you may, may know it by. And we're going to talk about a new feature which is Amazon CPM ads. Uh, and I'm also going to show you how to create a CPM ad. So uh, first things first, uh, CPM stands for cost per thousand. Why it's CPM and, C and not CPT I, I don't know. Uh, but CPM refers to cost per thousand. So you're being paid per impression. So um, just to give you guys an idea, AdSense is a CPC or a cost per click program. You get paid per click. However, Amazon also, I'm sorry, Amazon, AdSense also pays you uh, on a CPM basis as well. It's very low. Um, so maybe for every thousand visitors you get to, uh, to see an AdSense impression, you might be paid, I don't know, two bucks or something like that. Uh, now Amazon is offering a CPM program in addition to what it traditionally has been, which is a CPA program. CPA stands for cost per action. So in the past, what Amazon was, you put up a link or maybe tweeted out an affiliate link and said, here's this great record player I just bought. Go buy it on Amazon. And if somebody clicks the link and then buys a product within the next 24 hours, you're paid a 6% commission or depending on if you promote more items and sell more items, you can get it as high as an 8% commission. Um, but that's traditionally how the Amazon Associates program has worked. What they're rolling out now is a CPM feature. So let me kind of compare this to AdSense. So AdSense pays you cost per click. So if you get a click, you get paid. Like I said, they also pay you CPM as well. So for every thousand impressions, uh, depending on how optimized your site is and what kind of ads you're running and who your audience is, you may be paid $2 for every thousand people. You may be paid $7 for every thousand people. Well, Amazon has never had anything like this before. So uh, Amazon just rolled out this new CPM feature. It basically allows you to kind of link uh, an Amazon CPM program with your AdSense. And if Ad Amazon will pay more for an ad than AdSense, Amazon's ads will be shown. Uh, AdSense is kind of notoriously low paying, um, especially on impression based ads. So this may be a real, you know, if, if you run AdSense and you're not thrilled with your earnings, this is kind of a way to, to make more money while still main, you know, you can basically run two ad placements in one. And if Amazon is willing to pay more than AdSense, which I'm just getting started with this, but I'm guessing they are. And from what I'm noticing, um, Amazon ads are showing up a lot, which means that uh, it probably is paying more. Uh, you're going to do better running Amazon ads over the top of your AdSense ads. So um, when we talk about CPA, CPA pays better than CPM or CPC. Uh, cost per action because it's more difficult. It's more difficult to get somebody to go buy something and spend money than it is just to get somebody to look at an ad. Looking at an ad doesn't cost people anything. So that pays really low. Uh, in terms of cost per action, you have ones where people have to buy something like the Amazon affiliate program. Or, you know, sometimes cost per action just means getting somebody to sign up. So sometimes just getting somebody to sign up for an email list will, uh, will get you paid. Now that's traditionally going to be lower than getting them to buy a product because it's easier to get somebody to sign up for something free than it is to get somebody to spend money. A perfect example of a great uh, sign up program was, I don't think they have it anymore, but back before Netflix was like a household name, um, Netflix used to pay, I think it was 18 or $20 just for a sign up. If I remember correctly, you didn't even have to enter a credit card number. So I mean, what's easier than that? Who's not going to sign up for 30 days of free, free uh, movies and TV shows? And because they don't have to enter a credit card number, it's not, even, it's not even one of those things where, oh, I'm going to forget to go and cancel and I'm going to be charged. They don't even have your credit card. So that was an easy sign up um, and it actually paid surprisingly well. But um, getting back to the whole Amazon Associates and Amazon Affiliate program, the CPM ad, if you're somebody who gets a lot of clicks on your Amazon ads but you don't get very many buys, you may want to consider Amazon CPM ads. If you get uh, a lot of clicks and even a lot of sales but everyone's buying Kindle books and things that only make you like 11 cent commissions, you may want to look into the Amazon CPM program. I would recommend doing Amazon CPM uh, for pretty much anybody. There's, it's really kind of a win-win because your AdSense ads are going to run if they're paying more. If Amazon's willing to pay more, you know, you'll run Amazon ads. So it's really just kind of a way to, to make more money off your existing uh, CPM or CPC uh, advertisements. I don't really see any downside to doing this. Um, but in terms of, I wouldn't necessarily recommend stopping promoting uh, CPA or cost per actions or trying to sell Amazon products because you're going to make much more money off that than you are impressions. Um, so that's kind of who this is good for, why you may want to consider it, etc. If you run multiple blogs, you know, run this on one and, and continue doing what, what you're already doing on another one and see which one winds up paying better. Um, but it's really easy to create these ads. I'll show you how to do it. So first off, you're going to name your ad. So let's say I'm doing mine for a motorcycle helmet uh, blog. So motorcycle 
cycle helmet. I may also want to, or we'll just say MC to keep it short. I might also want to touch on the placement. So uh, header, or we could call it 728 by 90, 728 by 90. And then we might put, uh, okay, so that basically is going to tell us the placement and the website it's on. Now, since I said I was going to do a 728 by 90, I would choose 728 by 90. We'll show ads if we can meet your target CPM, cost per thousand impressions. We suggest you use your current, your average CPM for the ad. So right now my ad sense is ridiculously low. So I, I was going for 10 cents because if I'm making 10 cents, it's, it's already doing better than AdSense. Now here it tells you paste your pass back ad code. We'll pass any unmatched ad request to your specific ads provider. Please copy and paste the code. So this part is really confusing. And even if you read the um, AdWords, help, I'm sorry, AdSense help pages, it's really confusing how to create this. All you really need to do is create an AdSense ad um, and literally paste it in here. One caveat, make sure you're not using an AdSense ad that's running in any other placements. Create an AdSense ad just for this. Copy and paste it into there. And I'm not actually going to do this because I think this is already uh, uh, my Amazon code. But just to give you an idea, you know, you'd paste it in here and then you would hit create code. And the code is going to show up right here just like it would in AdSense or any other affiliate program. And below it, there's going to be an option to copy and paste it. So copy and paste it and put it in your uh, in the placement on your blog where you want it to run and you're in business now uh, I, I would suggest you know go view your blog and click refresh a few times and sometimes you'll see adsense ads show up and other times you'll see amazon ads show up the amazon ads are displaying when amazon will pay more money than whatever the adsense advertiser will will pay so um, this is a really cool program amazon associates program has been rolling out some really cool features they have the new site stripe which I talked about in another video. Now they have these CPM ads. They also have the native ads. So Amazon Affiliates Program is actually doing a lot of stuff for advertisers and publishers to help us, um, or I should say publishers, to help us uh, make money and giving us more tools and features at our disposal. So this is really cool. This is kind of a groundbreaking thing. If you've tried the Amazon Affiliate Program before and haven't really been impressed with it, I'd suggest giving it another try. Uh, they've been rolling out some really neat features. And if you're already using the Amazon Affiliate Program, give this a try and see how it stacks up against your current earnings. So uh, thanks, guys, for watching this video. If you guys have any questions about Amazon CPM ads, how to use them, how to run them, etc., cetera, uh, feel free to ask in the comments section below, and I'll address your questions or comments. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next video.